It's hard to knock Samsung for playing it safe with the Galaxy S9 Plus. By all accounts, the South Korean company nailed it with last year's S8, and by building on what made that iteration so great, you can bet that the S9 Plus is going to be one of the best smartphones of 2018. My name is Alex Radu, and welcome to All Hands on Tech. Off the top, I have to address the elephant in the room with the S9 Plus, the similarities to its S8 predecessor. It has the same aluminum body with a curved glass front and back, and to no surprise at all, it still smudges immediately. It also has Samsung's best-in-class 6.2-inch AMOLED display. Samsung's Infinity display is easily the best OLED display around, so videos continue to look absolutely stunning on the S9 Plus. The smartphone's buttons are also nearly identical to the S8, which unfortunately still includes the Bixby button, although this time you can disable it from actually launching Bixby. The only change is the location of the rear camera and the fingerprint sensor, which is now placed in the middle of the back of the phone, similar to Pixel devices. This was a much needed change and fixes how uncomfortable and poorly placed past fingerprint sensors have been on Samsung devices. The Galaxy S9 also has improved speakers from just the single speaker to a stereo pair. Samsung says that will make it 40% louder, and I can confirm that it is indeed significantly louder, and music certainly sounds better. The S9 Plus also is IP68 water and dust resistant, has face and iris scanning, which is now dubbed Intelligent Scan, a headphone jack, wireless charging, a microSD expandable storage slot, and the same size battery. While the battery on the S9 Plus is still good enough for a full day's charge, since the phone is using more power, it would have been nice to see an improvement. Let's head inside the S9 Plus where the bulk of the improvements are. The Galaxy S9 Plus uses the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, which is supposedly 30% faster than last year's 835. For business users, both the 835 and new 845 are more than enough for any business application, but developers who are looking to work with augmented reality are sure to enjoy the boost in power. The S9 Plus also has 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. The big change that Samsung is hyping with the Galaxy S9 line is its new camera features, specifically in the rear camera. The lens of the S9 can now physically switch between a very bright f1.5 aperture and the smaller f2.4 aperture. By default, the S9 will automatically switch between the settings based on lighting conditions to create the best photo, but photography pros can also go in and use Pro Mode to choose which aperture manually. This is all supposed to make the Galaxy S9 take better low-light pictures, and while it certainly does, I would still choose the Pixel 2 over the S9 when it comes to photography. There's no denying that the Galaxy S9 cameras take great photos, but taking great photos is becoming the standard when it comes to high-end smartphones. The S9 Plus also has the added benefit of a second rear camera for zooming and portrait mode effects similar to what we saw on the Note 8 last fall. Just like the Note 8, the live focus portrait mode works pretty well, but Samsung still hasn't been able to match Google or Apple with this feature. The front facing camera on the other hand is identical to the S8 with the same 8 megapixel camera. Video wise, the S9 Plus can shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second and can even shoot super slow motion video now at 980 FPS in 720p. Sure, it's not 1080p super slow-mo yet, but this is a great added video feature that you can definitely have fun with. On the software side of things, the Galaxy S9 Plus launches with Android 8.0 Oreo and with the other edition Samsung keeps talking about, AR emojis. The AR emojis are easily the most disappointing part of the S9, as they just don't compare to what Apple has done on the iPhone 10. There are less options, and this underwhelming edition has done nothing more to convince me that AR emojis are worth hyping up a phone about. For business users, similar to the Note 8, Samsung is releasing an enterprise edition of the Galaxy S9, headlined with Knox Security. With the cloud-based Knox Configure tool, IT managers will be able to remotely provision and configure new enterprise edition devices for workers with the ability to skip certain setup screens, install the correct applications off the bat, control device settings, and apply company branding. The Enterprise Edition also has enterprise firmware over-the-air updates so that IT professionals can schedule and update their staff's devices. With this solution, they can also specify an OS firmware version and make sure that every employee is running the same version. It also comes with 24-7 technical support, extended device warranties, and security updates for up to four years. As for business productivity, Samsung is keeping strong with the DeX, announcing a new updated version that will be released later this year. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually test any of the Enterprise Edition Galaxy S9 features, as it is only available in the United States for now. And we can't forget Bixby, Samsung's virtual assistant that is largely still redundant due to the fact that Google Assistant is also loaded onto the S9. 
While Bixby is a bit faster and smarter than when it launched last year, it still isn't very good at working with voice commands and just doesn't do anything that Google Assistant can't do better. The Galaxy S9 Plus is a predictable step for Samsung, but that shouldn't take any points away from what is a great device. Sure, it looks and feels the same as the S8, which I should add is definitely not a bad thing, but has the added bonus of more power and a better camera. With that in mind, if you already have the S8 or S8 Plus, I'd hold off on upgrading, especially when you look at the price tag. Getting a new premium smartphone every year isn't cheap, and the S9 is such a minor step forward, you're better off waiting another year. However, if you have an S7 or older, definitely consider the S9 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus is available here in Canada for $1,100 off contract. It's available in the titanium gray unit that we've been able to review, as well as in lilac purple. Thanks for watching All Hands on Tech. Let us know what you think about the Galaxy S9 Plus in the comments below, and if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Alex Radu. Thanks for watching.